Welcome to another small talk for you. This morning we're going to take a look at dynamically created arrays using literal syntax. And again, this is not always cross small talk. This stuff will work in Squeak and Faro, for instance. It does not exist in VisualWorks or Object Studio. There are some add-ons that bring it in, but they screw around with the refactoring tools, so it's not commonly used. So this is the kind of thing that if you're using Squeak or Faro and you're not concerned with other small talks you can use, if you're concerned with cross dialect, it's probably best to avoid this. In any case, if you use the curly braces and you do this kind of thing, you will get, let's see what you get. Let's go ahead and do this and print it. Notice that we do a cross product kind of thing. And likewise here, we have the same kind of thing. Let's do the size on this, print it. And the size on this is three. And it's because we're doing a product on this. So we end up with one element and then this and this. So you take all the expressions within the curly braces, execute those expressions. And the curly braces says, take the result of those expressions put those in your array. So this is a way of creating an array at runtime using dynamic syntax. So again, useful, something you can't do with all small talks. So you have to be careful about doing this if you want your code to remain completely portable. So it's better for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.